Today we're looking at another one of the conic sections. This time, this shape right here, the shape you get when you uh, cut all the way through part of a cone and not quite perpendicular to it on some sort of a slant. What you get here is something like a circle, except it's squished, and we call this an ellipse. Here, we're being asked to graph an ellipse, and we're given its equation in what's called standard form, and this is something you should get familiar with. Um, for an ellipse, standard form is always set equal to 1. And then we've got um, denominators here underneath the x squared term and a y squared term. If you think about the, the, the equation in standard form for a circle, you've got your center would be uh, these numbers inside the x squared and the y squared terms. It's the same for an ellipse. Um, it's a negative h, negative k. So our center here is 5, comma, negative 3. In fact, let's just go ahead and graph that right now. 5, negative 3. Now, if this were a circle, all you'd need is a radius, and you could go ahead and graph that. An ellipse is a little bit more complicated. And over here, um, this shows what they call some of these parts. Um, because an ellipse is more squished one way than another, it has two what are called axes, a major axis and a minor axis. And at the end of these axes, on the major axis are, are two vertices, and then on the minor axis they call them uh, each a covertex, covertices. So graphing these vertices, the vertices and covertices, uh, along with the center is going to allow you to uh, draw the ellipse in here. And we get this from a couple of what you could think of almost like uh, radii. So this denominator of the x term is the square of the length of that longer um, uh, radius of the of the ellipse. So nine, the square root of nine is three. I just count out one, two, three, and I get a vertex. Go to the other direction. One, two, three and I get a vertex. The uh, co-vertices are going to be the smaller piece. In this case, it's for the y. Of course, we're, we're going to have one that's flat like this rather than up and down, uh, but it can be the other way. So we take the square root of 4 here, and we get 2. So I count up 2 and down 2, and we get the co-vertices. And once you've got that, you can just go ahead and sketch in your graph here. And that's really, oh boy, that's a terrible looking freehand ellipse there, but you get the point. Um, that's really all there is to graphing an ellipse. You can get the, the uh, center by taking negative values of these numbers inside the x and y squared terms. And then you get sort of the radii, the, the lengths of each side of the major and minor axes by taking the square roots of the denominators here.